Well, after <clears throat> floundering about this, Paul and I decided that we didn't have anything we could say specifically. But then I got thinking, um, my ex-wife's friend, I won't tell your name. But she worked for a chemistry professor that was a magnificent <laughs> man that did a tremendous amount of stuff for me. And I'll, I'll, I'll do a video with his name after he unfortunately dies. Although I hope he, I hope that video isn't going to happen for a long, long time because I really like this guy. He's down in Arizona now. But he uh, edited the uh, Journal of uh, Chemical Education, you know, JCAMED, Journal of Chemical Education. And uh, sometimes on Saturday, he'd ask me to come in and, because uh, I was a lab assistant in the sense that I helped teach freshman chemistry labs. And He'd asked me to come in to help him do the editing. You know, he had it all laid out on this big table. Well, actually, the woman who died had laid it out for him, but he made the final decisions and layabouts of the articles and, you know, what was inserted and so forth. And, uh, and you know, I know people are going to say it sounds creepy, but it's not. It wasn't that way at all. Trust me. It was just, it was just a guy that was basically. You know, hell, my dad drove up to meet this man because I had talked so much about him that he respected him so much. You know, my dad had a, a program he was going to at Ohio State, and and he came up and he met Dr. Lippincott. Um, what a great. Man. In any case, so uh, Debbie, one of his editorial assistants, or his editorial assistant, has just died. And, uh, my ex-wife's best friend. Well, we're one of her best friends. Let's put it that way. Let's not start an internecine fight. I don't, I don't think a lot of these women watch me. But, uh, I uh, I really liked her. No, well, you gotta drive sometime. I shit the bed. I mean, you know, I mean, we're all, you know, I mean, I'm 65. My ex-wife's 20 years older than me, or or, or 16 years older than me. I mean, we're all, you know, it's not like we're young folks. Here. But, you know, you don't want to act like a dick if you can help it. There's a, there's a, there's a policy and procedure for y'all. Don't act like a dick if you can help. <laughs> well, that's pretty much it. Um, as I said, the internet was out last night over here. Um. It came back on long enough or soon enough for my neighbor to see her Cleveland Indians lose <laughs> lose lose the World Series game. They're tied. Game for game. They have one they're tied one game. A game of peace. And they're going to Chicago and Well yeah, they do two and then they do three and then they come back. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so Chicago, well, so they're, they're tied when they go to Chicago. Chicago. Okay. And then right. play there and see who wins now. Okay. Because so far they're tied one for one. Well, it's better than being, you know, two and zero. Oh. Right. Well, two and zero, oh, damn thing be over. Well, no, not necessarily. I mean, shit, you know, it's baseball. Fuck, this isn't like, you know, football where you power on and you just blow the other guy over the wall, you know, I mean, it's like, it's baseball, it's luck of the draw, you know, who chews the best damn 
you know, wad of shit in their face or something. I don't know. Why do they do that? You know, I can think of a lot of things that rather I'd like to chew than that. Um, when they, oh, when the, the jaw shit or the tobacco or, or whatever they want. Oh, how, 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 how can I do that? Oh, my face is, my face, well, look, see, I, you know, hell, well, wait a minute, this is where I, you know, I, wait a minute, come here. Oh, I can't. I fell into a fire pit. Look, I dented my face. It also dented the underside. It also fucked up the stuff in my brain underneath. Yeah, but I was already off the wall before that. So. Don't don't attribute don't attribute too much to that guy. <laughs> I should have saved I this. I improved your nasal. Well, it certainly improved my breathing. Yes, I uh, uh, I dropped my glasses this morning around five o'clock, and it it broke off my my shaft here. That's a new shaft, by the way. That's not the same shaft. And. And I'm thinking, because it just fell into this really soft carpet and things. Well, anyway, it broke off, so I fortunately have a supply of these things. But, uh, they're well, they're brass. Yeah, I mean, they're, yeah, they're metal. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So I say, uh, any 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 words of wisdom there, Paul? You want to add? Uh, no, no, really. Um, try not to get one of those big plastic uh, nose pieces on your glasses stuck in your eye when they suddenly decide to fall off while you're driving. There you go. <laughs> you heard her first. Like this. No, we're going to get more. Well, see, I, you know, I, I never, I, I never could figure out why you kept that thing. Well, I can still see with these better than this. Well, anymore. yeah, yeah, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, you don't, you don't use them as an everyday, let's go out and about thing. No, no I can understand your, your use of them as an emergency thing. I ought to have this in the car instead of one I can't see with. Well, that's true. I chose a new one. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I, I, I really am going to have to just get a new refraction and new lenses. Well, see, that's what? how I got screwed up. I did the refraction stuff, and they screwed it up. When? When, when I got my last set of new glasses. Yeah, but that was like, that was like, like, tw almost like 15, 16. No, it's only a few years ago. Okay. And I can see you with an oh. old prescription better than the camera with the new. Well, I mean, the eyes go back and forth. The eyes go back and forth. That's why I don't want to change them too often because I know they change very frequently. And, uh, uh, uh all right. I, know. I can pass the DMV visual test without glasses. Oh, um, did you get did you get your new driver's license for your new address? No. Yeah. Well, you're not there yet officially, so I guess you really shouldn't. Yeah. Right, right. Until I actually move in. So you're actually maybe. There. Yeah, right. What do you mean maybe? Don't don't say. No, maybe. Do it. Okay, don't say me. Right then, or wait until they're due again. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's see, maybe. In 2018. Maybe he's terrified. Yeah. Well, you know, I, you know I, I, I moved down here. I drove around on my Indiana driver's license for almost two years. Yeah. Until after that little event. <clears throat> 
outside of Obed. And uh, the guy was nice enough to let me sort of like walk. Yeah. Uh, Oh, I was giving my kids this to church. Yes, I was taken Mary to church. <laughs> well, I mean, it's taking the woman to church, you know. But, uh, but yeah, that was very gracious. Of and I did indeed show up the next day with my new driver's license with my new ID on it. Yes, I do obey. I do obey shit when I'm put to the wall. I may not like it, but I do it. But I remember who did. It. Speaking of that. <laughs> I have another story to tell you, but I won't tell you right now. It has to do with this guy. I've I've only been pulled over about six times in my life in traffic. Good Lord! I mean, it makes me sound like I've been pulling been pulled over lots, but uh, I'll tell you another story. But I I need to shut up now and say bye bye YouTube.